Hello, welcome to the first of what's going to be a whole bunch of video lectures in Mechatronics. Uh, as you've heard in class, the idea is we do some of these videos outside of class, get you the lecture content there. Gives us a lot more in class, uh, like hands-on time. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, so the point of this one is to learn a little bit more about transistors. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at a why first. Um, so the why is pretty simple. Um, our microcontroller can give us about 25 milliamps of current uh, on each pin. It can actually, across the chip, it can only do like a max of 45, so like you can't run three of them at 25. Um, total output. Um, turns out you can go a little higher than that. I've definitely seen students run it at more like um, 100. Um, it does kind of work, um, just not recommended. So this does some nice things for us. Um, if we have only a single LED, for example, uh, that actually will work fine. Um, so it runs at about 10 milliamps, no big deal. You can run that straight off the pick, works, works just like a champ. Um, in fact, you could drive a couple LEDs, uh, so not a lot, but here we've got, um, you know, six, and each of these pulls 10. Uh, so this is six, uh, 60 milliamps. Outside of the official spec, uh, but I assure you it works. I've seen people do it all the time. But this solution really doesn't scale uh, very well at all. So, for example, if we have a motor, uh, this motor is pulling, I don't know, I'll just make up a number. Let's say it's a big motor, it's pulling like an amp. They're not always that high. Um, just not going to work, right? So we've got to have some solution. Uh, and the one that we're going with, the one that kind of is the solution, uh, is transistors. The idea of a transistor is that you've got your, your microcontroller, you know, your PIC, um, and it needs to control something else that's connected to like, you know, your motor or what have you. So what we really need is we need an electrically cold, controlled switch uh, so that we can turn it on uh, or we can turn it off with some very low control voltage um, and then it takes care of turning on and off the big um, like motor or bunch of LEDs or things like that. Uh, there are actually two different types, uh, oops, another slide. Um, just a little background on transistors, first invented in 47, um, so a long time ago. They actually are used largely for states between on and off. There's a whole like curve to it for what the in is and the out. Um, don't care, right? Just don't care at all. Um, in this class, they're going to be digital on or digital off. If you're a double E, you might care about that, but we don't, right? They're on off switches to us. Um, as far as uh, little factoids go, there's a ton of transistors. They're kind of the, the building block of modern electronics. I think there's a thousand for every ant on the earth was the stat I saw. Uh, those transistors are actually quite different than the types we're going to be using, though. Those are like small one, you know, fit like a million in a square inch. We're going to be using like big ones that you can see. Uh, but the concepts are the same. Uh, most transistors fall into two categories. Uh, you have your bipolar junction transistors. Uh, these are what are called current controlled devices. Um, so you might turn it on, I don't know, I'll just make up a number here. You might turn it on by giving it like 5 milliamps, um, and you might turn it off by giving it 0 milliamps. Now depending on the load, it might be like 50 milliamps for on. Um, we'll talk about that sizing, but it's current controlled that turns it on and off. In general, these are cheaper. Uh, there's a really um, good way to use them. Um, totally works. Uh, the ones that we have cost like one cent a piece. They're really cheap. Um, the other type are MOSFETs. Uh, MOSFETs are voltage controlled. Uh, so you might turn it on with say five volts um, and turn it off with say zero volts. They're really easy to use. Uh, you can just hook it straight up to the pick. Since it's voltage controlled, the pick gives you a voltage change. Um, they do get to be more expensive in general as a rule of thumb. What we're going to use in this class, we're going to use like a high power MOSFET, um, and they're on the order of like two bucks, right? Uh, but they can transition like two, two or more amps. Um, so they're pretty good uh, MOSFETs. Um, and then after those two, we're going to talk about some special types. Um, like some Darlington, some BJTs, uh, so just some other special types at the end. So that's the end of this lecture. Uh, we'll see you for the next one.